Hello, sir. Good, uh, good evening. Um, we, means Shomesh and Shubhamai, we as a team choose the topic regular expression to finite automatum as our team project. Now, here comes the first question that uh, what is regular expression and what is finite automata? Okay, first regular expression. Regular expression is something that defines regular uh, regular language as a smallest class of language which contains all finite languages and closed with respect to union, concatenation, and kin closure. In simple words, it's it's the expression way of the finite automata. Let uh, let us understand this by example. Uh, first, zero star one zero star here star means it can uh, repeat in in terms of uh, epsilon way or it can or it can repeat in uh, one times or two times or infinite times so here for first zero uh, for first case here is no zero repeated or no second zero repeated for uh, second case the left zero is here but then uh, not the second zero the, and in the third the both are there and like this and here comes the second case plus b whole star means a or b here plus is represented as uh, or case so a or b so the case can be a the case can be b the for for because of epsilon it can it can can be epsilon or it can be the repeated case of any type of a or b expression so here uh, the second thing comes that what is finite automata finite automata is something that is the simple ideal idealized mechanism sorry machine used to recognize pattern within input taken from some characteristic sets like you it can be a or b type of alphabet or zero or one type of alphabet so the question comes that finite automata uh, uh, finite automata it has two different parts like finite automata with output and the finite automata without output what is finite automata without output? The parts are moon machine and miller machine. And, and the without output part, there comes DFA, there, here comes NFA, and the NFA which forms with epsilon means epsilon NFA. So we are going to focus on regular expression to the NFA DFA forms. It's our target. Let's move on to our first example. The regular expression we choose is this. So for for solving this we choose a starting state we choose a final state and in between this we wrote the whole statement so here comes the plus means the or case so we divide this two in two ways like this and this the whole expression from there here is one and zero so uh, the q0 state uh, take a input one and then take a input and can go to qf state so we divide in in two for the second case, we can divide it from here and from here, like that, we do this. From there, we can divide it the whole star part, means zero star, means the, un the undefined unlimited time of zero repetition. So it can be shown as this, means it can repeat zero times or it can uh, repeat un undefined, uh, infinite times. And from fin uh, finally, here is the final uh, diagram where every alphabet is uh, gone to th the next state with different alphabetical inputs. From here, we can generate easily the transition table and it is going to show us the NFA transition table, means non-deterministic finite automata transition table. So here we define this as fire, the uh, beginning state where giving it the z uh, the zero input it is going to q3 by giving it to zero input is going to q3 and by giving it one input it is going to q1 and q2 both so we define this as this state and for q1 we can find it is going to by giving by taking zero input it is going to qf state by giving one input it is going nowhere so we define this at phi it's going nowhere for one so it's we define this as phi that's uh, that is why how we continue for q2 and q3 and here comes our final state qf from qf it is going nowhere so for zero input it's uh, we are showing it as phi and uh, and for one input we are showing is as phi so from here we can uh, generate the dfa easily here is the uh, dfa we are taking the first state as q0 for giving it 0 it is going to q3 and for give going uh, giving it input 1 is going to q1 and q2 
so for uh, here comes two case q3 and q1 q2 first done the problem q3 for q3 it is going for giving zero it is going to q3 state and for giving it input one it is going to final state means the qf state for uh, for q1 q2 both what we are doing for q1 q2 by giving it zero for in nfa it is going to qf for q1 and for q2 it is going nowhere so for dfa it is going to q uh, going to qf for giving it one input it is going to q q3 just like that if by giving q1 and q2 it is going to for q1 it is going phi and for q2 it is going q3 when q3 and from final state it is going nowhere means we can yeah, assume that this is the dead state for giving zero and one it is going to the dead state here comes the second problem means our second example we choose the this expression where we can where we write the expression in between the these two states and starts breaking it into smaller parts by giving one is going to this and it is the whole part is star means the repetition we are showing we can show this in this in the final state and uh, by, far, by further breaking we're getting q0 by giving one input is going to final state means qf we can see this on the, our transition table too by q0 by giving one is going to qf state for q0 there is no case so it's going to the phi state for the final states for one it is going to this um uh, self looping it's itself and for zero it is going to q2 for uh, final states it is going by giving it uh, zero it is going to q2 and for one it is self looping qf so every state is uh, going to another state by giving by taking one input and it's there is no variation there so the dfa will be same just for q0 for zero input it, it is going nowhere so we are going to show this at dead state means it it is going to a state where it is self looping itself or going to trap itself from example 3 shomesh is uh, shomesh is going to continue the presentation shomesh are you there okay uh, i will just present my screen now okay one second hmm Uh, is it visible to everyone? Yeah. I have to pin. Just a minute. I have to pin it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Good. Continue. Uh, I just uh, continue the from the third slide. That is the uh, example three. Here we are constructing a FA from a regular expression that is represented with by giving zero star one plus one zero. Here plus means generally means or, and when there is nothing, it means and. So it's very simple at the first time. We will give uh, give a thing that is the starting state q0 or the beginning state, and it will accept this string 0 star 1 plus 1 0 and go to final state, where the final state is represented by double search. So it's our first thing to do. And now after that, we will just elaborate it using different and or or operations. As we can see, there is the or thing, this plus one. So we can uh, get the idea that from Q0 state, it can go to the final state with two different paths as using uh, zero star one or using one. State. So we are just dividing it and going to uh, two final state and we are renaming it with Q1 and Q. And this is the thing from q0 uh, it will take this 0 star 1 and go to q1 final state and at the same time it can also go to the uh, another final state that is q2 using 1 now the next step will be again dividing this q 0 star 1 with the and operator as because there is nothing so we can assume that there is and operator and we will elaborate this thing in the next diagram here in this diagram in in this diagram we can see that this zero star one has again been uh, divided you here 
as you can see from q0 it will go to q1 automatically as because there is epsilon so it will go or auto move automatically to this q1 step without getting any input and it will just self loop here uh, that means this when getting any number of zeros that means no zero or any number of zero it will just self loop in this q q1 step and accepting all the zeros and this is only depicted by the zero star zero star means no, any number of zero starting from an, uh, null zero that means no zero to any number of zero infinite number of zero. so that is represented in the um, this diagram using a self and there after it automatically automatically goes using the epsilon state to the q2 state and where this one we can see this one is accepted this uh, the state transition is made to uh, made in such a way that for getting to q3 final state we have to give this two uh, zero star and one both to reach the, the q3 final state and in a similar manner q0 uh, it requires one zero and it definitely requires one zero we cannot give anything other to get to the q2 state so here uh, it first requires one and then requires zero to move to the q2 state so that's only depicted in here the q2 state uh, goes to q4 state using uh, or by getting a input one and after that one getting an input of zero it is going to a q uh, q5 that is final state and it says the q2 state that is renamed as q5 state and here we can see that epsilon these are more elaborate terms so we will just make it a short here and this diagram shows that thing only here q1 uh, gets any number of zero and it just moves in, in this state q1 q0 state with any number of zeros and after that it just moves to one and as it gets to one it goes to the final state and similarly there is another path of getting to the final set that is using this one zero and that's only getting to this path here you can see from q1 to q2 using one as the input and from q2 to q3 as a final set with zero as the input and this transition is shown in the nfa transition table non-deterministic final state table and it's shown here here the arrow sign gives uh, uh, gives us the idea that this is the starting set whereas a star gives us the idea that it's a final set or a form uh, okay only a final set and it's only shown on getting uh, one giving 0 to q0 on giving q0 to q0 we are getting to a q0 state only and while on getting giving 1 to q0 it's getting to q q1 and here so q1 is given at the same time on getting 1 to q0 it also goes to q2 so that's why we have written it in a combined form by using the curly braces q1 comma q and this phi represents that uh, when a state uh, on in getting any input goes to none nowhere it is shown using phi so we can see that from q1 if we provide one it's going to nowhere at the same time when we provide zero it's going to nowhere so we have this represented it using the phi symbol similarly with the q2 q2 only get, uh, goes to q3 final state on getting zero so that's only depicted here and when we are giving one it is going to nowhere so we have given the phi and we can see that this is the NFA as because it uh, on giving one to Q one state it can go to two state only, and this can be generalized use uh, to a DFA with a technique simple technique. So that's what we are going to do now. Here in this table, this is the equivalent DFA table of the previous NFA. It is very simple to do as we can see here when we pro, uh, when on starting going to start symbol q0 on giving 0 it goes to q1 only and that's only given but 
when we are giving 1 to q1 q0 set it moving to q1 set at the same time we moving to q2 set that is only shown using a combined step here q1 q2 becomes a combined step and this combined set as because it is not handled yet so we are getting into the second row of the column and then we are just uh, giving it a more uh, proper form by as we can see here q1 when we provide q1 with zero q1 with zero it goes to nowhere uh, and but when we give zero to q2 set we and we can see we have go to q3 and that we have only written here so this uh, q1 and q2 combined set is handled here and q1 and q2 on getting both getting one it goes to nowhere we can see in this diagram so we have given a test set and this only shows us the dfa form of that ns okay now go, going to the next slide each uh, from here there will be some uh, mc2 type question which we will just discuss and it requires some uh, theory knowledge theoretical knowledge to do and or is to manually do it it will get uh, a hectic so going to the first question here it is uh, we have to find the number of states of ssm that is required to simulate the behavior of a computer with memory capable of storing n words each of length n so we can get an idea that on saying this m word of each length m so uh, a memory that can uh, store all this m word with a uh, size of m requires m into n size it's a pretty sure thing so we are we can think that uh, for getting such a thing a memory capable of storing m into a, uh, m word with each of length m we require a uh, storage part of m into n so now the thing is that in uh, the computer memory everything is stored in form of zeros and ones so we can uh, we can assume that for each memory unit we can either have zero or one and it should be go for uh, all the memory unit so for uh, a mean to a memory unit for each memory unit there will be zero or one so the total thing will be from assuming all the combination it will form 2 to the power of mn and that should also be the answer of this question and here is the explanation as i have told you going to the next question here a uh, simple one which of the following statement is true for a dead set so uh, what's a dead set dead set is a uh, nothing but a state a rejecting state we can say where uh, if some uh, thing uh, gets to a dead state it cannot move out from there or we can say if some uh, some string uh, on getting giving to a ssa goes to a dead state it will not be uh, accepted anymore so that's the dead state only so uh, so this uh, c it seems to be a go good answer of this question and that's the thing only uh moving on to the next question here there is a combination uh, there is a set of given string that consists of elements like a b c d e f there are six elements and we have to form the uh, string of length each of length four using the uh, this uh say use using this element and this element should not be uh repeated more than once as it is given here so uh from the um, a basic mathematical concept we can get to the thing here to make such a uh, thing of getting a length of uh, string of length four from uh, all the six elements we can use permutation so it will be like that uh, 6p4 and uh, for from that formula we can easily get the answer and it should be just like uh, 6p uh, 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 4 whole factorial 
so it will uh, give us uh, if we more de de uh, derive it it will give us um, this the thing of 3 okay it should be 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 as because it's a just a mathematical formula so and that uh, on getting with this we can get a answer as a 360 so this only 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 and it uh, it is depicted using the permutation simple permutation combination uh, permutation formula that is 64 now the uh, last one this is our last question so it shows us the the string wwr that means uh, this w means a simple any uh, string and where wr represents the reverse of this w tree so we have to find uh, the string ww is not recognized by the fsm and we have to provide the answer um, uh, why it is not recognized so uh, first we will go to the thing that an fsm has a finite memory we know it has a, a finite memory so it cannot store huge number of strings and compare them so if we provide a huge string of w and we have to then store it and again we have to compare with with the with the, the its reverse form then it will be a very hectic task for the ss and it could not do it so we can uh, see that uh, if uh, the ss cannot form uh, cannot uh, accept this wwr that means uh, string and its reverse string and we can also go to a simple deduction that palindromes should not be accepted by a fs so finite state automata so our answer will be there is the thing palindromes cannot be um, cannot be recognized by fs and our answer is b as there is also no fixed uh, midpoint uh okay uh, push down automata can uh, the accept this wwr that means a palindrome thing so uh, by this we are ending our presentation thank you everyone thank you sir thank you good presentation uh, only one thing i should mean let the let the presentation be there let the presentation be there yes thank you uh, i think a uh, very good presentation uh, you go to the basics very well and uh, brought out very well uh, but i i a little more suggestion that wwr you should uh, show it as this uh, wr as a superscript mode or subscript mode sometimes okay, it may, uh, it that is ha uh, it that should, if you can correct it so that it will be better but because this ppt is also be loaded and uh, excellent and uh, first presentation also this presentation talk excellent but i uh, expect a little tougher Uh, areas from you might like be turing machine turing decidable but here this is also the basic things you have touched down anyway very good very good thank you very much all the best thank you sir mm. thank you thank you sir okay for your time okay